As the vibrant days of summer start to wind down, it's time to give those tired containers a refreshing fall makeover. Simply updating the same summer containers, flower pots, and planters that you already have will save you time and money. So whether your planters need a little pick-me-up or you're looking to decorate for the season, we'll offer some fantastic plant choices to revitalize your space with a burst of fall color. Now let's talk about how to create that perfect finale to the growing season. Fall container gardening does not follow the same rules as spring or summer. Depending on your region, the plants will not be in the pots for very long, so the usual requirements of light, water, and compatibility may not apply. Although one thing you may want to keep in mind is cold tolerance. If the fall season means a drop in temperatures in your area, you will want to select plants that will not only tolerate, but thrive in those conditions. Many of the plants we mentioned will continue to bloom and provide entrance under a broad range of conditions, often into winter. And speaking of winter, some plants are actually perennials and can be overwintered in the pot or in the ground. Now onto our top 10 list of plants to provide fall splendor. If you're planting mixed containers or multiple containers, just remember to play around with varying heights, textures, and colors to create an eye-catching display. Of course, the number one plant on the list today is the Garden Mum. They are the ultimate fall superstar. With colors ranging from fiery oranges to deep reds to purples and whites, you can easily find a mum to fit into your decor. These potted chrysanthemums begin to appear on store shelves in late summer, enticing customers with their colorful blooms. But don't be so quick to pick up the first plant you see. Due to their high demand, these plants are often available for sale at a wide range of retailers, some of which may not practice good plant care. First, you will need to look for a mum that is tightly budded because, spoiler alert, mums do not bloom that long. The more flowers there are yet to bloom, the longer the color show will last. The blooms will last longer in cooler weather, but it is best to mix in other plants into your containers for a display with longer appeal. Also, watch out for any plants that are wilted. This means the plant has not been watered properly. Once you've picked out the perfect plant, give it a whirl to check for any broken or damaged branches, as they will need to be cut out, leaving your mum bare in certain spots. Last but not least, be sure to select the right size of mum. These fall plants are usually available in small four inch pots to tuck into tight spaces into your containers or larger six to eight inch pots to create more of a centerpiece in your planter. Or look for those large patio pots to add instant charm to a front porch or patio. Once you get your new plants home, the best thing you can do is repot them. Repotting will extend their longevity by providing more soil space for the roots to spread and help to retain moisture after watering. Gently remove the plant from its pot and lightly loosen any tight roots the best you can. Fill in the extra space with additional potting mix or any of the plants I will mention next. Stay tuned until the end for a few tips on properly watering your mums. One last word of advice on fall mums. They generally aren't meant to survive the winter, especially in pots. They can be treated as annuals and discarded at the end of the growing season, or you can take a chance and plant them in the ground. In hardy zones, they may return in the spring after a period of winter dormancy, but don't get your hopes up. For more information on growing and overwintering fall mums, see the link in the description to our video on how to grow long lasting mums. Asters are perennial flowers you don't often think of for container gardening, but you really should. Not only do they bloom well into the fall, but they are a favorite of local pollinators such as bees and butterflies. They're available in shades of blue, purple, pink, and white. If your plan is to use them as an annual for the fall season, the specific type should not matter. But as I said, these are perennials and can be planted in the ground when you are done enjoying them on your front porch. If planting in the ground, do a bit of research as some varieties stay compact, while others can grow upwards of three foot tall or higher. Every good combination pot needs a foliage accent, something that will add color, texture, and interest even when other plants have faded or no longer in bloom. Ornamental cabbage and kale fits this description perfectly. They can be planted on their own or added to large mixed containers to surely grab attention with lots of visual interest. Plus, these plants thrive in cooler weather even intensifying in color as the temperatures decrease. 
The flat, fringed, or ruffled leaves introduce rich grayish green tones, which are matched well by the gradient of color. Pansies are another good choice for fall gardening. These little happy face plants produce flowers throughout the season, even surviving frost and single digit temperatures. They are available in various shades of pink, red, orange, blue, yellow, purple, and white to match any aesthetic. They're tiny enough to pop into a mixed container or plant them alone to create a wow effect that will keep blooming for months on end. With their explosion of fall-like colors, ornamental peppers are becoming more popular as a spicy addition to fall containers. The multicolored fruits cover the plant, adding a fun and unique interest to your pots. It is common to have peppers in various stages of coloration on the same plant, which add to its appeal. Plus, these same fruits commonly remain on the plant for several months, all while maintaining the vibrant colors. Even though they are technically pepper plants, they are grown as a decorative accent, not for food. They are edible, but the flavor may be disappointing. In fact, some are very, very, very hot. In late summer, you may begin to notice potted sunflowers hit the shelves at your local garden center. But these are not your typical sunflower. They are often reblooming sunflowers that not only stay compact, but continue to bloom for weeks on end. Commonly referred to as Sunfinity, Suncredible, or Sunbuzz sunflowers, these plants are a great addition to a mixed container and a perfect way to greet the fall season. Although they produce little pollen and few seeds, the nectar-rich flowers are visited by bees and birds. You can watch it buzz with activity all season long. To add a tall focal point, Millet will deliver both height and drama with its strappy foliage and cattail-like plumes. This accent plant would make you think it's a hybrid between ornamental grass and corn, but it's actually a member of the Penicetum family, which also contains the very popular fountain grass. If produced, the seed spikes may be left on the plant to provide food for birds, or may be cut and used in floral arrangements. For an additional pop of color, try Celosia. The colors can range from deep red to orange and magenta, adding a feathery and fluffy inflorescence to your containers. Not only are colors abundant, but they're offered in various sizes and shapes as well. These flowers will tolerate a bit of cold, but unfortunately will not survive a hard frost. Just remember to deadhead any old blooms before they start to lose color. This will encourage new flowers to develop. Another perennial plant on this list that would add texture and unmatched color to your pots are coral bells. The saturated leaves come in a spectrum of shades, from earthy purples to oranges to lime green and almost black. Plus, the variation of leaf forms would give your container a unique visual appeal. Their leaves look great throughout autumn and remain in good condition throughout the winter months, extending the color display. Similar to the millet, ornamental grasses work well in fall containers to add height and texture. Tall grasses that work well in this position would be dwarf fountain grass, purple fountain grass, and switch grass. Shorter grasses also work well in the front of a container to provide contrast to other blooming plants. These would include blue fescue or sedge grass. Even as the grasses fade, the autumnal brown tones continue to add the perfect seasonal color to your display. So that concludes our top 10 plants for pretty fall containers, but we can't forget about a few seasonal accents. Whether that be corn stalks, scarecrows, straw bales, or metal garden art, any addition to your display will result in a fall-tastic entryway brimming with fun. To add additional character, we cannot forget about another fall staple, pumpkins. Small pumpkins and gourds can be added right to your containers, while larger pumpkins can be piled around your display or even stacked to create a unique presentation. Now that you have your list of plants, I wanted to share some tips on transitioning your pots from summer to fall. After you have pulled out the tired looking spring and summer annuals, you may want to consider refreshing the soil. Loosen any compacted soil and replenish with either new potting mix or compost to provide essential nutrients to your new plants. Then, once your new container is designed and planted, give it a good drink. Even though fall is cooler and the plants don't require as much water, they still need proper hydration. And proper hydration means watering around the base of the plant, not over the flowers or foliage. This is especially true for mums. There isn't much you can do about rainwater, but keeping the hose or watering can at the base of the soil will help prevent any fungal growth on the wet leaves. So as you can see, changing out your patio pots and containers is a fantastic way to keep your outdoor space looking updated and fresh as the seasons change. 
Let us know in the comments below how you like to decorate your outdoor spaces for the fall season. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you would like to see more, please subscribe to our channel and visit our website at gardeningknowhow.com. Well, thanks for watching and happy gardening!